doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Okay, do you work here or are you visiting or something? Visiting. Ah, uh, okay. Are you, are you booked in for a visit or something? Any reason why you're asking? Uh, I just saw he's taking some photographs, that's all. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Immingham taking a look at Killingholm Power Station. Uni Pair, it says on the sign. Uni Pair. Main entrance down there and the pipelines office to the left. Okay. We'll have to have a look at that with the drone when we get it up. And then down in this direction, we have the gatehouse where I presume security are sitting watching the CCTV screens right now. Just down there. We've got a plaque under the tree. Oh, we're going to be able to read that. This cedar tree. So I'm going to let security know that we're here making an innocent video outside. I'm going to fly the drone over. Nothing to worry about. And then we'll return back to the public footpath outside. Hi mate, right, I'm just going to be outside, just where the, the crossing is, over there, just making a little video about the power station, just in case anyone reports me out there. Okay. The drone will go over for about 10 minutes, just to get the aerial footage, then I'll be gone, alright? Have you got permission to do that? Or do you... Well, just, just ask. Are you aware that you're coming? No, I just thought I'd pop my head in and let you know. The airspace is clear. Yeah. So permission's not needed. Good job it's not an emergency, eh? Yeah, picked up. Control room to security. Well. Well, this is embarrassing for you, isn't it? Big time. Surely someone's got to be about. You able to give us a phone call? Um, I've got a gentleman in the gatehouse that wants to make a video on the entrance to get a drone over the top. Is that right? I can pass you over if you want. Is there a loudspeaker? Uh, yeah. I don't know how you do it or not. Just so we can both hear it, you know. I don't think one. it's touch screen. Yeah. Hello? Hello yeah. mate, we can both hear you now. Ah, excellent. So, uh, sorry, who, uh, where are you uh, from, sorry? I'm not from anywhere, I'm just a member of the public. Um, I'm just going to make a video from the outside, fly the drone over, just for social media. I find the place quite interesting. Um, <laughs> with, with things like this, normally, um, we have to go through our... Um, our sort of legal team, if, if there's any video of, of, of our site. Um, so we've, had it, we've had it recently, so I know it's sort of hot topic at the minute. Um, what, so, involving a member of the public that's making a video from the outside? Um, 
would you would you be videoing our uh, site? Yeah, just get a a shot from above with the drone. Yeah. A bit like Google Maps have already done. Right. Okay. Uh, can, can I uh, put you on hold for a sec? Sure. All right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cheers. I just didn't want anyone reporting me outside, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And then I used to have had um, people come in, but then they've also had people with drones recording it, and then some time later leaking in. So they don't really want it happening. What's, what have they seen with the drone that they can't see from Google Maps, though? Because I, I in my eyes, it's just the same, isn't it? Depending on how close you go with the drone. I can I'll be above roof height. Yeah. I'm not going to go start going looking in windows or like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to be um, oh, no, no, polite no. here. Yeah. Because okay. it could waste your time. You know, yeah. somebody reports suspicious man. Yeah. And you have to walk all the way out or even ring the police. It's just wasting people's time. Yeah. So I thought I'd come in and just be open and honest. Yeah, if I don't mention it to someone, I say, I say you get on with it, then it's my job on the line. Is it? Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. You got a car up there at the entrance. No, the it's my bike. No, you Can you see my bike from there? Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this long. <laughs> How does this place work anyway? I mean, it runs on gas like turbines. Run Is it? Gas, yeah. And can you see the um, anything from outside, or is it all enclosed? All inside mainly. Has it got pipes coming straight in? Yeah, underground. What, the gas coming in? Yeah. Right. And then straight out to the grid? Yeah. Right. Hello? Hello. Uh, right, we, um, I'm, oh, I'm coming to the gatehouse just to, um, just to discuss, if that's all right. Yeah, sure, uh, sure. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Uh, well, give us a few minutes. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, okay. I've passed the right. phone back, all right. Cheers. Cheers, Andy. <coughs> yeah, yeah like I say, we, we had one not long ago. We tried to do the same thing in the base of him so that he wasn't allowed. So he didn't do it? No. I know, I know, it's a bit odd. Maybe he had a heavier drone. I'll get my drone out, so... Because with this type of drone, Heavier drones, you might need permission, but with mine, it's so small, mm. you don't need permission. It's, uh, there's no minimum distances to buildings or people. Up 249 gram. Yeah. I'll get it out so Andy can see it. Appreciate you asking. Anyway, you could have been up there, done it, but we weren't even there. Yeah. <laughs> but that, like I say, there's a risk then of people's yeah. time being wasted and alarm bells yeah, yeah. being raised, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you do it and the police get called and it's just such a waste of time, everyone's time. Did you do it all over the UK then, or just that local area? Well, I'm spreading out. Yeah. I'm spreading out, so this is a couple of hours from where I, I live. Oh, bloody hell. But started down at the, um, the docks just down there. Yeah. Where they bring all the cars in, all the Volvos. But from yeah. above, you know, with the drone, it yeah. makes interesting footage, which you put on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok, and they all pay you money. Yeah. yeah. So that's, cool. that's one of the reasons. Financial incentive. Yeah. Doesn't look very busy here. Uh, it's running down of Christmas. Right. Yeah. There's also a course on today, upstairs, like Major Boss one, so it's pretty quiet, they'll keep themselves to themselves. Do you know the figures, how much it's producing? I think profit last year was something like six billion. Six billion? Yeah. Wow. I don't know what this year is yet, they haven't come out with the figures, I don't think yet. Oh. I can imagine it being more or less the same, if not more. And the more they make, the more you get? No, no. <laughs> I'm the very bottom of the ladder. You don't even get a box of chocolates for Christmas, all right? No, no, oh dear. Yeah.
Yeah. But yeah, these places attract um, protesters as well, don't they? Does this particular site? I've not had one yet. But the uh, sister and company did. All oh, right. And they had to get the police and dogs and that in to get them off. Oh, they, they entered site? Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, took the down very well. <laughs> this is Andy and Dave. Oh, right, okay. Oh yeah. How are you doing? I've got the drone out the bag just yeah. so you can see it. It's one of these lightweight ones, so there is no minimum distances that you yeah. need to keep. Um, well, unfortunately, we can't allow um, yeah, drone footage of, of, of the site. Um, yeah, we'd have to put it for our legal legal team. Um, right. Mm. Well, even a member of the public doing it from the outside, like me. I believe so. Yeah. Um, we we have had. Um, footage taken off site yeah. through a contract, and I know there's been a lot of legal to and fro yeah. that we that we've actually organised for site. So I think I think any any footage, um, yeah. I, I don't Could I take your well. name in case, and to to get back to you on on, on this matter if, if if needed? Well, like I said to security, I've travelled two hours to do this video. And the law allows me to do it. So I was only just coming in to be polite to him, say, I didn't want your time being wasted. Somebody spots somebody out there filming and flying a drone. And he's like all panicking, what's going on, what's going on? So I thought I'd just pop my head in and let you know. I weren't asking for permission. I was just letting you know that I'm going to do it. Well, all I could say is, you know, we, yeah, we're not, uh, we can't allow it. We'll obviously have to pass it on. See, he's on social media. Um, yeah. You know, we're, we're not experts in the field. Um, yeah. I can show to, you the law we'll to... to show you that the law allows it. Your policy might be that you, you don't want it to happen. Mem members of staff and contractors can't yeah. use drones. Maybe that's what you're saying. But you can't really inflict that on the public outside, can you? I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, no, a, I'm, not, not. I'm not into media. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, my, it's not my area. I mean... I weren't expecting this. I was just coming to, so I didn't waste his time. Yeah, yeah. I'm... We could take your name and... Um... What for though? It don't change now, does it? Yeah. Well. I think we're going to have to part ways here on a disagreement where you don't want me to do it, but I've carried on. Yeah, I, I don't know what the, I, I don't know the law. Obviously, no. if you're, you probably know I can show you. So I, that... I know, but... Do you want me to show? No, no. Okay. Um, it, it won't make a difference. I don't, I don't know the law. You, you, you might be well within your right. All I can yeah. say is... It's because of the weight. Advice. The weight of the drone allows it. If it's heavier than 249, then you have to keep 150 metres away from commercial. That's what this, this is classed as, commercial building. But because it's lighter, there is no minimum I distance. I don't think this would be classed as a commercial building. It's an the, industrial building with HV power lines all around, which could quite cause... Uh, I don't think National Grid would be too, too happy. On the Civil Aviation Authority website, there's a section. Now this is what all drone users have to abide by, the drone code. Mm. And when you get down, this, this is talking about distances. And there's the keep 150 meters away from all those recreational, commercial, industrial sites. But then, unless it's a small drone, below 250. And if it's below 250, you can, it says, um, you can fly small drones and model aircraft that are lighter than 250. Yeah. At all these sites here, um, factories, docks, yeah, rail. Yeah, none of them. Yes, yeah, so there's no power stations there. Industrial site. Oh, yeah, well, classic. Basically, anywhere apart from an airport or a prison. So that's the law. They control the airspace. I'm just reassuring you here that there's nothing illegal going on. And then there's, a, there's an app called Drone Assist that we all use. It shows you where you are at the moment. It says it's yellow, so it's a little bit of a, a hazard, a ground hazard, so you've just got to be careful, don't get too low. But you can certainly fly over it and take some imagery, which is that's all I want to do. And you can see it there, look. Yeah. I'm just going to get an up-to-date well, version I'm, of I'm, that and, well, and talk over it, really. Yeah. They want to hear my comments on what I can see, and wow, you know, all the, the emotions that I have when I'm flying. It might, I'm not going to say it's boring, I'm, I'm going to say it's a very interesting place that I found today, and, and I'm just going to show people what I found. I think all we can do is advise you not to do it. Yeah. 
if you, obviously we're like, if if we're left if you because we don't know the, we we don't know the, the policies and things but I advise you not to do it if you do it then obviously it's if you know it's legal and there's nothing to worry about but we will have to report it and yeah, it'll be we'll out. We will have to report this. Yeah. So that's well, now I know that. Now I know that. I'll wait. So once I've finished the video, I won't just leave like I normally do. I'll wait around. And maybe if you get a reply, say, are you attending? If you call the police, is that the, the police you're going to call maybe? I haven't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to inform my superiors okay. first and then we'll, we'll, we'll go. Well, it. what I'll do then, when I've finished, I'll come back here and I'll ask the gentleman if he wants me to wait around for the police. Because you asked me for the details, I can give that to the police. Obviously, I can't give them to you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you're going to give that to, you know. So that's where we'll leave it then, guys, yeah? On a, a civil note. Yeah, we'll leave it on civil note, yeah. yeah. Fine. And we'll, uh, we'll report this now and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be back then to see if you want me to wait around once yeah, I've yeah. finished. All right. Is um, that your bike there? My what? Is that your bike? Yes. Yeah. The orange bike, yeah. I'm just going to return outside the main gate, do it from out there. Because when I'm on public land, I've uh, got so the did, rights. Did you bike here then? Sorry? Did you bike here? Yes, yeah. I'm in the area today. I'm, I'm, there's a lot of interesting places around here, not just you. I, I thought you said you travelled two and a half hours. Two and a half hours from Leicester to here. Mm. Parked the car up down the road. I started off with the docks, you know, killing home docks where they bring all the cars off the boats. Right, okay. That was amazing to see. And now yeah. it's this place. Then you've got some more places down there to see. So I'm not just targeting you, I'm just making yeah. content for YouTube and no. it all pays money. That's, yeah, obviously we, we don't know the policy. Um, it'll, it'll be our legal team that, yeah. you know, if, if, if there's any breaches or anything, obviously they'll, they'll be in contact. Yeah, um, yeah, there's nothing the legal team can do because we're playing within the boundaries of the law. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, before you leave, we'll... Um, yeah, I'll come and see you in a bit, mate. Thank you. We'll take care, yeah. Well then, let's get back outside and get David up. Okay. Hiya. And see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. All we have is a ground hazard in yellow that does not restrict a flight. It just means you have to stay a little bit higher than you normally would, which we do anyway. So. Killing home power station. Let's have a look at you then, shall we? So there's the main entrance and they're making it look very nice, aren't they? Very well landscaped across this frontage. The security gatehouse just down there. Security was absolutely fine, wasn't he? The two staff were okay, but they're saying, look, we still don't want you to do it. Well, sorry guys, but I haven't traveled two hours and showed you all the law to not fly the drone. So a very, very empty car park. Two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe 15 vehicles max there. But the main guts of the place is down here, isn't it? So let's get right over and have a look. Bit of a, a balancing pond down there, a couple of silos, and then we have the main switch down here where they're pumping the electricity <coughs> onto the national grid. And you heard how much money they make. Gas comes in, electric comes out. Let's do a bit of a perimeter fly around. So down in this bit, we've got some chimneys. I presume the turbine is in that bit at the back. And the electric is transported over in this direction, into here and onto the grid. So they do have another entrance and that road takes you down there across here to a new section at the back 
Look at all that. And then we have all this spare land below us, which is all part of the same site. And then we get a view from the other side. Awesome, isn't it? But we're staying well away from the pylons, staying well away from all the electrical main bits down here. And just doing the perimeter. Staying nice and safe. We'll just have a quick look at this balancing pond. Does it have a ramp into it as well? How unusual is that? A ramp going straight into the water. Have we got any fish? Something seems to be moving. No, no fish today. And then this road leads up to the turnstiles where we went into security in the gatehouse just here. So that was Killing Home Power Station. Something that you don't get to see every day. Turns gas into electricity. Let's get the whole site in one shot, do a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and nip back to security to tell him that we're finished. So there we have it, the whole site in one shot. I was just about to nip into security and the police are already here. Yeah, good, thanks. Okay, do you work here or are you visiting or something? Visiting. Ah, okay. Are you, are you booked in for a visit or something? Any reason why you're asking? Uh, I just saw you taking some photographs, that's all. Obviously, we're out here on a patrol with all the various facilities around me, so I'm uh, your presence or something. Right, okay. If you don't mind me asking. Um, I've already been in, spoke to security. Okay. I've then been out and done my activity. Okay. Now I'm coming in, as agreed to security, to tell them that I'm leaving. Does that explain? When you, when you say you've been in, have you, have you like been beyond beyond the sort of barriers and gates as a visitor, as a, like a registered visitor or something? No, I've been where security are happy me, are happy for me to go. Okay, all right. There, there's no complaints um, in terms of where I've been, but there is some sort of dispute on whether I'm allowed to do what I'm here to do. Okay. They have called. Um, well, I was just. Who's have you called the police yet, mate? No, they haven't. They've not called you anyway, so you're not needed. They are on the way down, though. What the police or your staff? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just okay. telling the um, the officers that I've been to speak to you. Yeah. I've returned to the public footpath, done yeah. what I've needed to do, and I've agreed that I'm going to come back and tell you when I'm leaving. Is that so, right? So, so you've just you've just done that off your own back out of courtesy, just to let these guys know that you're going to go now. And... Do you want to vouch for me? He did say that. Yeah. He's been, as far as I'm aware, he's been filming outside our gate. Yeah. So. But but not not within the ground. Yeah, he's been over with the drone. Okay. Can we ask what you've filmed him for? Is, is it, is it for, for a particular reason, sir? Or it's, I put it on social media and get it monetized. Okay. So it's, you make some money from filming interesting places from the ground and from above. Right, okay. Can I. I didn't pay particular attention to the sign, or. I mean, this is not something, a site that we're controlling in the routine, but what, what is the site? It's a power station. Okay, so this is a power station. Yeah. Um, are you, are you some kind of, I don't know what the fuel is, or what, are you some kind of like environmentalist or activist in any way, shape or form, something that's opposed to these guys, or I don't know. If I'm opposed or supportive, it's irrelevant. I'm just yeah. outside filming. Yeah, well, it's, it's just, just my piece of mind, that's all. Just, uh, just one of me. Okay. Normally you see these activists in groups, don't you? Can I ask your you? name? You can ask. Yeah. 
if I'm if I'm obliged to give it to you, of course, yeah, if you suspect yeah. me of doing anything wrong, let's get to the nitty gritty yeah, yeah. and let's let's give you my details. Can't say that anymore, by the way. What nitty gritty? Yeah, apparently. Why? Well, it, it has racial connotations, but anyway. Racial? Yeah, apparently. Would you do um, public order on that? Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying what I've heard apparently. So, um, so I, I I try my best to not use it personally, but. Is it is a nearby company that I filmed earlier today called you? Uh, not, well, I don't know, not that I know of, I, I've not. The, the only reason I'm speaking to you now is because we've physically seen, seen you with our own eyes. Um, what, we, with the we, camcorder? Yeah, yeah. We, we, um, we, we haven't personally heard any calls on our radios or, or been deployed to any incident of any kind. It's a good one, this is. Yeah. 90 wow. times zoom. I didn't realise people use the camcorder anymore. Only because of the zoom. Really? Yeah. But yeah, people are that smart, I don't know, that's, that's probably this kind of thing as well. Yeah, yeah, this is great. When I'm flying the drone, this is capturing the audio. And we'll, when are anyone... you guys okay? Are you guys, um, you're yeah. from the security team, I understand? We're from the, we work here with the operational staff here at Killing okay. on Pulse Station. I understand this chap made you guys aware of his presence prior to doing whatever he was doing out on the public, in the public domain. He did. And then uh, from what he says, he's now come back to say that he's going to do whatever he was doing out on the um, he has, we, we advised against recording, yeah. um, obviously we're not part of the elite, we don't know the, the rules and regulations, it would be our legal team that, we, yeah. that so you'd have to speak to. As, 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 well, so as, as long as he's not doing that within the grounds of you guys, which yeah, it would, it would, it would be some offensive, if he's doing it out on the public street like anyone can with a smartphone or whatever device before, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not doing that, um, as far as I know. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so obviously this is critical infrastructure for a national grid and um, we advise them not to not yeah. to come or use the drone in. We've got overhead lines and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that, that would that would probably commit an offence of endangering people's safety and stuff. Yeah. If you start flying stuff over power stations, that kind of stuff, that that absolutely would. And that's what we're saying. You've done. Oh, we, you, you've flown have, it across. Have you, have you flown it over our land? You'll see when the video goes out where I flew. But I know what I'm doing. I've, well, just just confirm to the officers. Did I show you the um, the civil aviation drone code about? The law surrounding drones to yeah, reassure yeah, you. There's obviously separate legislation about yeah. aviation about did, being able to. Did I show you that? You did, yes. You, you flicked through a document on your phone, but obviously it was. I was in no rush. It didn't reflect. It's reflect still there. The power stations in particular, did it? And did I show you drone assist, which shows you the ground hazards and restrictions, including airports and prisons? Yeah. Did I show you that one? You didn't know. I did. I've got it all on. Yeah, you've got it now. You didn't show I've got it all on too. film, mate. When I showed you. We didn't, oh, so uh, you've been recording us then in there. Of course, yeah. Everything's so been recorded. That's our land, so so you've been recording on our land, have you? Yes, yes, been cut recording as I approach Gatehouse and on the exit. What, what's the name of this country for? It's Uniper. Uniper. Uniper and it's Killingham Power Station. Uniper, Killingham Power Station. I mean, the, the big risk is that, you know, you're flying over live power lines there. If that comes down, it could cause it. I went over, did I? Went I over know, the line. We don't know. We don't know. You're not telling us, are you? So. Just trust me. No, I could trust you, we don't know yet. I'm the, I'm the drone pilot. Yeah. We don't know what you've done, we've no idea what you've done. Well, I've tried to reassure you as much as I can. If you're still paranoid, then there's nothing I can do about that. being paranoid, we just don't know you, do we? It's critical you know, you infrastructure for the national grid. And the it, drone it, of it, my size can fly over critical CNI sites. The law allows it. We're all playing within the boundaries of the law. So I've come this in. has been recording on our land then, this has been recorded in the gatehouse, this has been recording our conversations. Is that is that legal? Uh, it's time to answer that question. Uh, line, not, but... If you have a site policy of no filming on site, yeah. we... then to to enforce that policy, your only power is to remove the trespasser. So you can ask me to leave and I'll leave. Recording can never be stopped. If you try and touch my recording or touch me, then it's unwanted contact. Can't be done. Filming for evidence, I come in there. You might have said, oh, it was abusive. It was violent. I'm filming for my protection, just like these guys are right now. 
everyone's entitled to film anywhere publicly accessible. Okay, our policy from site, any filming does have to go through our legal department. Yeah, any policies that are, are being broken, any of your rules that are being broken, what are you going to ask the person to do? Get off, aren't you? If you can't follow our policy, off you go. You're not going to physically stop them from chewing their chewing gum or smoking. You're not going to grab the fag out of their hand or get the chewing gum out of their hand. You're just going to say, right, if you're not going to follow our rules, off you go. Get them off site. Right, if, 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 yeah, if, if you guys don't want them here and... Uh, can, we get, can we get your information? No, you certainly cannot. If, if, you, if you want him to leave, if, if that's what you want to do, then you can request him to leave. And um, if, if he says he's happy to, you'll request leave if he's done what he's done. Um, and I'll say, well, is that probably your policy? Is it staff here say, we'd like you to leave? Is that what you want yeah. to do? Yeah. If that's what you want to do, you'll have to go and do that. Um, but if you don't want to make that request to leave, if they refuse to leave your land, then yeah, you can just go with the trash bag. Yeah. Like, like, if they like, like anybody else could. If they refuse to leave, you get got ag aggravated trespass. You can actually use reasonable force to get them off. And if you don't want to do that, these guys will do it for you. Can, can uh, I just so you can make that request like yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going. I'm volunteering yeah. to leave anyway. I cool. don't, I don't right. need to be here any longer. Yeah. yeah you're obviously not going to give us details, but obviously the fact that you've been here and, and you've been caught on camera, I've recorded you on camera. Um, a record of that will be kept at the police station. I'll be, um, I'll be submitting information. Just our peace of mind, these guys peace of mind, um, normal police practice. <laughs> We've got your details needed just for our... Um... Yeah, so let, me, so let me spin around, yeah, I'll okay. give you my details. Can, 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 before you leave, um, Constable, can I just get your shoulder number? Uh, it's a good yeah, turn around, isn't it? 1273, thank you. I'm just going to get my bike. So, you were just saying, what, what was the reason for the... Uh... I just post my videos on social media. I find interesting places around the UK and just film them and get some drone footage. I put it on um, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and they're all monetized nowadays, so you earn quite a lot of money by doing it. Right. Okay. That's all. Nothing uh, yeah, nefarious. Just... We've been fine. You know, there's no problem here. No, it's just... <laughs> it's just very interesting to hear people's view on drones and filming. Because making videos nowadays, creating content, is very popular, and a yeah, lot, a lot of people, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's increasing. Yeah, yeah. Which is oh. Obviously, we're we're just concerned with the risks and, and that associated. We really just don't want to, 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 for, for, for you to harm yourself or yeah. anything like that. Uh, and I wouldn't want yeah. to affect any CNI site. Mm. So I certainly didn't fly over anything. If this drone fell, yeah, you know the weight of it, 249 grams. But if it fell and there was a slight risk of it damaging any infrastructure, I won't want to do that anyway. So I didn't fly over, I just went around the perimeter, got what I needed to do, and now I'm volunteering to leave. So I'll leave you to have your conversation in private and have a nice day, guys. All right, All right take care. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll leave them to have their conversation, exchange details, and we'll get on to the next site. They was even suspecting that filming whilst on private property is against the law. Wow. They're really not used to it, are they? But of course, you should be filming. Everybody should be walking around with a body cam nowadays to avoid those false accusations. But we're outside now. Let's just get a quick shot of the police leaving. And then we'll move on ourselves. Here what it's keying. Let's see if we can zoom into it from here. Oh yes, easy. There it is, look. Poking at the edge of that sign there. If you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a keying, good luck with that. I think they're an armed unit as well. Patrolling the area. They say they've had no calls so far about our filming in this area, but I'm getting cold. So I'm gonna carry on down that direction and move on to the next site. That was Uniper Killing Home Power Station.